We're talking with Kimball Musk, uh, who's on the board of a number of companies that obviously his brother is also heavily involved in, from SpaceX to Tesla. And uh, let's talk a little bit about Tesla. I've driven the car. It's absolutely fantastic. The acceleration, just the driving experience. The Model S now is getting more range with the uh, P85. Great advances being made. Um, I think the most exciting thing right now is uh, the Tesla Model D, which is the, uh, the motors, on both, uh, motors on both sides. And you can go 0 to 60 in 3.1 3 seconds, and hopefully we'll get it down to 3 to three pretty soon. Uh, range is great, uh, but it's just, uh, we're, it couldn't be a more exciting time right now for Tesla. Model X is coming out in a, in a few months as well, and that's going to, I think, really blow people's minds. So the Model X is the SUV, and I think it's got the wing doors, as I remember from the concept. And uh, do you have any information on that as far as uh, how it's going to be powered, the range, and um, maybe the price point? I can't release the price point, but I think the range should be about the same. Um, and I would say that the, the, the Falcon doors, which you're referring to, are going to really impress people. So I'm six foot four, and I can walk underneath them with quite a bit of clearance. And they're they are incredible, and they'll fit in. And they, at the same time, they'll fit in, in in the normal, you know, small size garage. It's really going to really impressive. Happened to be at MIT back in October when your brother was speaking primarily on uh, trips to Mars, but uh, did mention a little bit about uh, Tesla. And the one line he used was that he wants to make it affordable. Can you tell me about anything more affordable uh, from the Tesla lineup? Well, I think that's our whole goal as a company is to actually create a car that is affordable, that everyone can drive. And so by the time uh, we build our Gigafactory, which will be a few years out, we hope to have a, a third model that will be at a price point that is affordable to, uh, by the average American. And we're still working on that price point, but it's going to be, it's going to be, a, it's going to be great. You're a board member of Tesla. What can you tell me? Any other are the challenges or, uh, on day to day? Obviously, extending range. But what do you see as somebody kind of on the board side? Well, I think being on the board is, is is actually much more fun than that. We 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 get to do all the fun stuff. So just yesterday morning, I was uh, driving through Westwood in L.A. with my with my brother, and we were playing around with the early stages of uh, autonomous driving. And uh, really fun. You can actually the, the the display would show what the car is seeing. You'll you know see different cars. You see the side of the road in your display. Uh, it was fun stuff. I don't know if that'll be the final display, but it was more just a incredible uh, uh, taste of what is to come. And that's probably three to four years out, but it is amazing what it uh, what it could what it could end up doing for us. So you're kind of coming at it from a technological point of view as opposed to uh, kind of an automotive point of view. So that's that's a top priority. Yeah. Yeah, we, we are a technology company, entire, entirely. So Apple has, uh, I guess, been rumored to get into the car business. Uh, so there's another tech company. What do you think? Is there room for them? I think it's fantastic. I mean, for Apple, uh, of their stature and their, their resources to put their name behind, uh, uh, I, I would imagine, an electric car. Um, I can't imagine them not doing an electric car. But uh, to come into the industry, uh, I think it's going to be very good for them because they need a... They need to continue to grow in a way that is moves the needle, and there's not very few revenue uh, sources higher than, than the automobile industry. So I think for them it's a great move, and for the industry it's super exciting. On the challenge point, obviously you have the big three: GM, Ford, Chrysler, and other manufacturers as well getting into the electric vehicles. BMW with the i3 and the i8. So I mean, it's getting to be a competitive landscape. Tesla is there. So are there fears that some of these big legacy car companies will kind of intrude on what Tesla has kind of spearheaded? Uh, honestly, the car industry is so big that we need more of Ford and GM and Chrysler and Toyota and everyone else to get into the electric car business. Um, the, we need we need to move the, the market. So we need to get uh, consumers, the drivers, to get comfortable with electric, know that it's the best technology out there, and so the more the more players involved, the better.